Time now for your Motran Minute. Warning Basin drivers first. Dustin Fawcett with the Motran Alliance is joining us live this morning. Welcome back, Dustin. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Good. We're good. So what project are you telling us about today, Dustin? So once again, we're continuing our series of projects on uh, that main north-south corridor in Odessa, U.S. Highway 385. Uh, again, we're going to be having an intersection project. Uh, and this one is at 87th Street. That uh, intersection out there north of Schleymeyer Field, that port out there, north of the city limits there in Odessa. And what are they going to be doing at this intersection? Right, so it's, a, it's actually a multifaceted project. There's going to be a lot going on at that intersection. But the main point is that we're going to be getting some traffic signals or some traffic lights. Uh, if you've ever driven out there, you know that there are some service roads that go along US 385, and then there's 87th Street that crosses over. And so there's a lot of action points and a lot of kind of winging it, as uh, many people say whenever you're driving. So we're going to get those traffic signals there. Uh, and then most uh, notably, we're going to be seeing some improvements along those frontage roads as well. So along with the traffic lights, at those frontage roads, we're going to actually see where they're going to control traffic to where if you're on a frontage road, you can only turn right. So if you're heading northbound, you can only head uh, east. And if you're heading southbound, you can only head west when you get to 87. No longer can you cross over 87th Street on those frontage roads. Wow, well that's a unique concept. So what else can you tell us about the project? So also 87th Street is going to look a little different uh, once the project is completed. Uh, we're going to have a dedicated through lane, and then there's going to be a dedicated right turn and a dedicated left turn lane with a concrete medium. So we're really looking to mitigate all crashes and all kind of turning points at which drivers could uh, face some consternation with one, one another. Uh, so this whole area is going to look different after this 14-month project is going to be finished. Uh, speed limits are going to be mitigated down to 50 miles per hour, and uh, it's going to cost the taxpayers about $3 million. Well, thank you so much for that, Justin. We look forward to seeing that finished. Absolutely. Thanks, y'all.